Today, I met with Impa of the Shika tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Robbie, other respected members of her tribe. Tomorrow I, am back, I embark on a sex excavation with them. We hope to find an ancient, te ancient tech with which to operate the Guidance Stones. Today, we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the Guidance Stone. It's a rectangular object, small enough to be held in my two hands. Shika text is featured prominently on it. It's made of an unknown material, but we believe it's the same as the shrines scattered across each region. Impa proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We're calling it the Shika Slate. We have not found any mentions of, of a name for this object so in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Shika Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Shika tribe. It feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight I thought I could win. We did it. We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing... Images. Perfect likenesses of things you pointed at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of Sheikah technology. Still, I know there's more to learn. There must be. We believe that the Sheikah Slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research. And quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but... Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Urbosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the rising calamity. Robbie has restored the mobility to many of the guardians we've exca excavated, but we've still yet to find all the guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They're said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is... No matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat this Calamity but the crucial activ activation mechanism reigns a, me a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? That is Pura's, the Pura's theory, and I concur. And yet my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the Calamity. We must not give up, no matter what. I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. <laughs>